On today's show, we're going to take some potatoes and we're going to create ourselves some sliced, baked, loaded potatoes. Sounds pretty good. And we're going to top it with some sour cream, some chives. We're also going to top some with this right here. Some lump crab meat, some crab claw meat. Hey, welcome to Gourmet Fishing. I'm your host, David Murray. Man, we've got everything we need right here. So let's go ahead and get started on our slice baked loaded potatoes right now. Let's go ahead and get started on our slice loaded baked potatoes. We got everything we need right here. I've got some three little russet potatoes that got them washed and dried right over here we got some sliced chives for the end when we bring them out the oven and by the way the oven is preheated at 375 degrees we've got some uh, uh, uh some bacon that we've kind of fried up and got it nice and toasty we got the bacon drippings right there we'll be using that here in a few minutes we've got our lump crab meat our, our crab crab claw meat we've got some salt cayenne pepper we've got granulated garlic and granulated onion then we got a couple of cheeses over here we got a uh, just the, the good old sharp yellow cheddar and then we got some of that vermont sh extra extra sharp uh white cheddar and we got a little bit of oil i think that's that's it yes we did say we got that preheated um and then we got some sour cream over there in the uh in 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 the in the fridge we don't need that out quite yet so i tell you what let's um we're going to do a little bit of relocation with some stuff, just like that. We're going to grab our potatoes, move you, because we need you here in a second. Put the crab meat up there with the chives, move some things around. I probably should have been a little bit more organized, but I thought I was. But anyway, so we're going to come in. I'm going to, I'm going to cut some of these long ways. And then we'll cut some in some in the little small uh, uh, little round ones. And we know we'll do that right now. Come in here. Get rid of this guy right here. Don't need him anymore. So we're going to come in and I guess about, I don't know, a uh, half inch or so. We're going to come in and we're just going to cut away just like that. And we will put them right over. Mm, yeah, we'll take that lid off. I wasn't quite sure what to do with that little guy, but hey, I think he'll be fine. And we've got, got, got a baking sheet. I did spray it with a little bit of, um, what do we got of here? Canola, canola oil spray. So we're going to come in. We're just going to drop our slices on our bacon sheet just like that voila now i'm going to come in here with this guy let's see we will we'll cut him this way take care of that now these again about a half inch or so just like so we're going to cut these and try not to cut myself i'm not sure what i'm going to do with that i don't know but again come over here we're going to drop these in here just like that and uh well you're out of here so you're going so now i'm going to come in and do the same thing with this guy here out the way and cut oh have to do a little trim on that and cut let's see here a little bit of a cleanup on aisle two and uh, ooh, okay who knows we'll do something with that one <laughs> who knows what that guy's gonna do so just like that simple easy you know what Let's see what happens. Now nah, he's gonna be too thin, so <laughs> we'll leave him alone. Now we're gonna come over, take this guy here, and we're gonna grab our little pastry brush, our silicone pastry brush. I've got some uh, olive oil. You can use uh, whatever oil you want. Um, your vegetable oil will be fine. We just come in here. We're gonna give a nice, a nice coating, just like so. Oh yeah. All right, just like that. Got them all coated. I think that looks good. I'm not painting a wall or anything. <laughs> so anyway, there we go. I think that'll work just fine. You stay over here. Now I'm going to come over and we're going to season them up just a tad. Just a little bit of salt, not a lot. And I'm using the pink Himalayan because you can kind of see it in the bowl white. It kind of <laughs> disappears in these things. You don't need a lot of of, of salt because you know what I did forget to mention one of the ingredients and that's um, we're going to use some Greek seasoning going top and that's loaded with salt too so careful with the salt 
don't want to overpower everything. And then voila, just like that, we've got it. Now, come over here, we're gonna get our cayenne pepper. That's up to you, the, the, you can use black pepper. I love the cayenne pepper. And again, your taste for this, we don't need it too hot to run people off. So we're gonna come in and just give it a nice, just, you know, just a nice sprinkling. And, oh, you know what? Uh, this guy, the, the broken one there. Uh-oh, there we go. Yeah. Make him, <laughs> make him feel better. I gave him a little bit more and then we come over with our granulated garlic and give it a nice sprinkle too. Again, this is all, the seasoning is, is, is up to your taste. And then we're gonna finish it out with some granulated onion, just like so. Oh yeah. And there we are. Round one is done. Slip this in the oven right here. Preheated to 375. We're gonna cook this for about 20 minutes. Oh man, I tell you what, yes sir, we check that out. It's been right at about 20 minutes and it is time for us to take it out and oh, I wish y'all could smell it because they do <laughs> smell pretty good as is. Now I hope I don't touch this. We've got our potatoes out. They're starting to, yeah, they're starting to get soft. Heck yeah. And what's nice, let's see. Yep, they're not sticking. <laughs> That's why I put the um, the spray on there. Uh, if you have spray. Yeah, you know, um, parchment paper would work just fine. Now, usually when you put your potatoes in for that 20 minutes, you break out your uh, your skillet and you fry up your bacon while that you know while the potatoes are cooking, and then then you've got this right here left over. That is our bacon grease and drippings. And guess what we're gonna do? <laughs> we're gonna add it to the top of our potatoes. Heck yeah, man! Just add some more unbelievably delicious flavors to our potatoes. We're just gonna add it just like this and then we're gonna flip it over and do the exact same thing. All right, I tell you what, we've got these guys flipping over and they're somewhat warm. I don't know why, 375 degree oven, maybe that'll do it. And when we come over here and we're gonna finish these off with a little bit more of our bacon grease drippings heck yeah man just oh man just just think about how good this is gonna be in a second <laughs> all right there we go that right there will complete our liquid seasoning as of right now so guess what back in the oven for about 15 minutes and i tell you what look at that man that is awesome looking heck yeah man i hope i don't touch it that's been about 15 minutes so we've got a total of about what, 20 and 15? That's 35 minutes of cooking. Now we're going to, another five minutes because we're going to top everything here. In a second, we're going to put it in there, let that cheese melt and get nice and gooey and, and bring all those flavors together. So we're going to do that for another five minutes. So we're going to have about 40 minutes of cooking time. So, okay, let's go ahead and we're going to top with cheese first. Why not? Because it is delicious just like that. So we're going to add our, our yellow cheese and I'm going to put some of our sharp Vermont, uh, yeah, Vermont extra sharp, seriously sharp white cheddar on top. So we're going to come in here and just do this. Heck yeah. Voila. Oh man, I cannot wait. This is going to be delicious. All right. Heck yeah, man. Just like that. I'm going to come over. Oh, I need to get a little bit more <laughs> cheese than that. Here we go. Voila. Okay, now you're you're retired. Now I'm gonna come over here with our white cheddar. Oh man, I love that seriously sharp uh, flavor. That, that, that you know, I, I'm not sure what what gives it that little bite, but man, and boom, just like so, we are almost done. And I tell you what, that cheese right there is not <laughs> going to waste. Be munching on that here in a minute. Now I'm gonna come in here with our. Um, bacon bits, our fresh bacon bits and top everything just like so. And I'm kind of squeezing them as a, you know, to break them up just a little bit more, make them a little, a little more easier to chew on. All right, let's go ahead and finish this off. Just about done. Oh man, unbelievable. It's gonna be awesome. 
just like that and there we are we are about done now if I didn't want to get too creative we put these in the oven but right now we can come in here not all of these and we're gonna add some crab to these so what are we gonna do with this uh, you know what we'll put some here and right here heck yeah let's see what you know what I'm gonna give a nice one to this poor little guy sitting right over here along with his little friend and uh, kick them up just a tad and you know I'm not there's no exact science or anything to this but I tell you what I cannot wait to try it we've got this little here let's see this one right here looks good and we'll finish uh, right there voila unbelievable yes sirree now we've got our bacon we've got this tell you what it's time to go back in the oven get these cheese nice and melted we've got about five more minutes and then we'll top it with our sour cream and our chives and it'll be time <laughs> to do a little munching hey if you like what you're watching right now which i really hope you do hey give the uh, video a little thumbs up a like also so please subscribe to the channel it does help us out and don't forget to click that little notification bell so you know exactly when we upload anything new speaking of uploading it's been about five minutes so let's upload our little slice loaded oh yeah baked potatoes right here holy cow check that out man that looks oh wow those are awesome looking yum cannot wait to get into those so speaking of that what are we going to do i know one thing i don't want to do is touch that that is very hot let's see here okay i got two plates we're going to put the non seafood or the non <laughs> crabby <laughs> um taters right here so let's come in try to figure out a, a way to arrange these i don't know how about something like that get this little guy here oh yeah two and then we'll get this one yep he's warm just like that it'll keep him propped up let's see i'm gonna get this little guy here whoa that's warm here and what do we got there this one here okay you know what that will be good i think let's see if i can get this off right here mm, yum yum now we'll move this guy right here we're not done yet not done yet and then we'll come over here and we'll grab our our crab topped uh potato slices and kind of do the same thing get this little guy here voila oh he's got a little extra cheese attached to him this one so all right guys y'all out the way then we'll do this okay come on come on here we go and we'll get this one right here heck yeah just like that i tell you what that's perfect one two three one two yep that's awesome almost like we um planned that and actually we did not so tell you what let's get this right here and out the way let's see if we can make a little bit of clean up that bacon grease everywhere i don't know let's see one two three okay so you know what let's get into cleaning this plate up just a little bit right let's get this thing cleaned up just a tad i think that's okay put him right there you know what i think we're just gonna leave that as is that'll be fine do that right here now all right what else can we do let's come over here and grab some sour cream now you don't have to get fancy like this you know that just just good i guess because i can uh i put a star tip on a piping bag if you a spoon out of a container of sour cream or you can get the sour cream that's similar to this but doesn't have the pretty little tip um that you know whatever <laughs> so let's come in here you know what i'm gonna come in voila just like that i don't know that looks pretty good to me so we come in here just like this and then we'll drop some right here i'm not even sure what that looks like but that's okay mm. Mm. yum 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 so let's see we'll drop some right here right right there you know what we will we will adjust as we go so here we're going to come in here with this guy like this something like that now if you don't like sour cream obviously you don't <laughs> you don't have to i just think they that, that that potato pairs so well with sour cream that's just me i don't know we can do something like that 
that i don't know who knows and then we'll just drop a nice boop right there okay so now what are we going to do you know what i might as well top this guy right there we'll leave that alone so i think we're good in we go now what are we going to do come in with some some chives to chop these up a little while ago just like that don't need a lot we just need a little a little color to give a little bit of a little pop but also that that, that that chai flavor does help so we can come in just like that come on let's go why are you sticking to my hands so here come in here and here just like that voila okay we're almost there y'all and we'll just add a little i don't know pop like that i don't know it didn't work because it bounced <laughs> bounced right off so i tell you what man that one right there looks pretty good i think we'll put him here and what we may do with this, add a little lime juice to our seafood ones. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Just like so. Cut off the ends. Try not to cut ourselves. Aha, uh -huh, that one slipped. But I tell you what, we'll just add a little bit of juice right on top of a couple of those. Just like that. And then, of course, why don't we go ahead, add a little bit of decoration right there and there. Yes, that looks good. I think, I hope, I know they're going to taste good. So, let's see, move you here. Put you, I don't know, about right there. Man, how about that? That's simple, 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 simple. It takes a little bit of time to cook, but man, that is going to be delicious. Yes. Oh, man, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put our Greek seasoning on top of our little loaded slices of goodness right here. So I'm going to come in and we're just going to add just a little bit. Not a lot. You know, this has got a lot of salt in it, but man, it is delicious. Goes great with potatoes. That's why I like to use it. But it's uh, something called Cavender's All-Purpose Greek Seasoning. So <laughs> there you go. I tell you what, you know, I think I'm going to give it a try right here. Oh, man. Smells delicious. Mm. <laughs> man, that is good. Ah, <laughs> Y'all, I hope y'all do try these. You know, it kind of reminds me of the... Um, the potato skins that you would get at you know, your sports bar or you know wherever as an an appetizer but man these are a heck of a lot easier hold on <laughs> hit this down a lot easier than having to you know get a, a, a baked potato and keep the skins and remember to do it so how much how easy is this can we try those uh crab ones here in a second Tell you what, again, I hope you all get a chance to try these. You know what? Recipe is down below in the description right down here. Another great recipe for y'all. And hey, right here, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, God bless, and we'll see you soon.